morning, everyone. We ready? Live from the TSU Energy Studio. The Rule and Ryan Show with producer Eric, Special K, and Sam. It is time for the Rodeo Sounder. The Rodeo Sounder of the day is where you want to be listening very carefully between 9 a.m. and 7 p.m. at any random time. We would play this sounder, and it means free Rodeo Houston tickets for you. But what are you listening for? Here it is. I want to be a cowboy. Cowgirl. <laughs> <laughs> right. I don't know why he had to have that. <laughs> that should be a producer for that real song. Yeah. Hey guys, I got an song. idea. Yeah. So randomly, this. you're going to hear that, and when you hear it, you need to call us at our um, studio line seven one three three nine zero K R B E. Remember that, and song? you'll win rodeo Houston tickets. Let's hear that one Who more time. Who sings it, boys? I want to be a cowboy. The band was Boys Don't Cry, and it came out in the 80s, and uh, I remember the end, My Name is Ted, and one day, I'll be dead. Yo, yo. Good songs from that era, but... Not okay, was not, not one of them. Was, <laughs> there's some turns in there, so I guess. So that's the rodeo sounder of the day. When you hear that at random between 9 a.m. to 7 p.m., you win Rodeo Houston tickets from KRBE. Here we go. It's Try It Tuesday on the Rule of Ryan Show. It could be super weird, it could be super gross. We'll take it to the face. Grab a garbage just in case. Just try it. Just try it. KRB. Yeah. yeah. Okay, today is not gross. Today is the hot dog. 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 Um, hot dog. And we thought, you know, we would do this because Eric has told us for many years how he purposely will drive to a Costco only to eat a hot dog because it is so cheap. So you're a Costco dog addict. And it's like, I'm, I keep waiting for a listener to see me because I sit there on that little picnic table. Eating alone. Yeah, just eating by myself. I'm just enjoying life, just eating that hot Are dog. Are there people around you? Because Costco oh, looks pretty full, full in like, the food court. It's like, you're sharing full. that bench with someone. No, 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 I get my own, but I'm you always have, waiting because okay. people eat a hot dog. Now, and do you leave. look happy or sad? You know, like when they approach her, they're thinking. He's right, he's I'm crying so into the bun. Yeah, <laughs> I use the tears. <laughs> no, I, I'm, I enjoy it. You're happy. I'm eating your put, dog. I was looking at my phone, watch some TikTok videos, and eat so a hot dog. So $1.50, you get a hot dog and a Pepsi. What if you don't want the Pepsi? I mean, this yeah, Sierra Mist instead? or something. Uh, it's yeah. a soda drink. Yeah. Pepsi soda 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 drink. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I don't like Pepsi, but for a dollar fifty. And for years we've said that it down. we know yep. that Costco has said they will never raise the price of the hot dog, as you know they lose money on it. They don't really, because to your point, Eric, you did not just walk in and walk out after the hot dog. You shopped. And I will say, um, when I bought these hot dogs, it's uh, it was like five ninety five or something mm-hmm. for. I mean, well, it's fifteen bucks because you get three packages of it, but each package has twenty four of them in it. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> but I, so now god. you got fifty hot dogs at home, yeah. and you probably <laughs> give twenty four of them away. It's gonna be gifts. And then, Here's um, a hot dog I bought the Hebrew National and the Nathan's, and they're first. Is it a six pack or is it eight in there, Ahmad? Uh, six. It looked like eight. I whatever don't know, that I is, it's five ninety seven. So you bought so, those at the regular store. So there you get like whatever the regular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's eight eight in the package or, eight, or whatever. It's like five, six bucks. Sure. And I get. 24 for six bucks. Mm. Eric, I just fact checked this and it's for real. The guy came in and he said, Jim, we can't sell this hot dog for a buck fifty. We're losing our rear ends. And then the CEO said, quote, if you raise this effing hot dog, I will kill you. That's awesome. Raise the price <laughs> that, that, that is why I go there. Now I guess Sam's uh, does that as well. They have a hot dog. They like, hey, that's a good. Huh. B- gets people in the door. Well, listen to what gets people in the door. Think about this. At the Astros game from MMA Park, Tuesday nights, dollar dog nights. Oh, people for love to go to those sure. games for dollar dog night. Free baby, Mark and I Your took dog advantage. Dog. I kid you not. I think the I mean, limit is four hot dogs per person. And Mark and I got eight. <laughs> oh, my uh, God. You ate person? eight hot dogs? <gasps> he wow. got eight. For himself. Man. Yes. Wow. <laughs> and see, did you take the bun off? At one it point, I'd be too full intense. for the bun. It well, was, my, my it was fear a lot is... of beer and a lot of hot dogs. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Sam, you get so full, you won't be able to finish the game out because you'll be like, oh, I'm bloated and full. Or well, you're just my thriving. fear is the cheaper the hot dog, the more I question the ingredients. You can't think about that. You you can't you can't even think about but that if you eat when too it's too many you're gonna get sick. Bark. But sometimes you see the gray. Yeah, no. yeah sn- snort. Uh, what did you say? Snorts? What did you say? Snots? Ew. Ew. Snouts. 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 Stop, Snouts. It. Stop it. Stop it. If you think about it, don't do that. She's don't do it that. before but we these start. These are good because these are. Just oh, quoting the movie, no, The Great no, Outdoors. All right, no, so here's not. the first one. I am. No, yeah, not. that's what. What are what are hot dogs made of? 
Oh, oh, yeah. Six Six and... Don't talk about it. Okay, this one. I have no idea. We okay. don't know which one this is. Oh, no. But wait, does Ahmad know which one it is? Yeah, he does. Okay, Ahmad knows which hot dog he's giving us. He's not giving us a bun. He's just cut the hot dog up into pieces. Let's rate it. So, you know, one to five, five being the best. From the George Foreman girl, I could use it a little warmer. Because, you know, yeah. room temperature dogs can give me the, the middle. Get a little hotter. Get a little hotter. Yeah, right. the middle get a little hotter. cold, Ahmad. Oh, no. I can tell I'd know that. That means I'm going to hate this already because of the temperature. Are you ready? Just eat it. All right, here we go. All right. It's a little cold. It's cold. You got a cold dog. Mm. Not a hot dog. Mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. My shirt would be good with this. Yeah. All right. One, oh, scale okay. one to five. What would one you give to that? five? You're rating oh. that now. What would you give that? I really got to get past the temperature of it. A, B, C. We're going to call this hot dog A. All right, a? Uh, yeah. All right, a? I'll give that. Out of five? I don't even know how to rate this yet. Yeah, I know. I feel like I need I'll to... rate it after the yeah, next one. Yeah, that's piece. what I need to do. Yeah, yeah, why don't you guys keep your tallies like quiet yeah. until yep. we get to the end? All right, here comes the next one. Okay, next hot dog. We don't know which brand it is. Ahmad knows what brand it is. And the George Forming Grill is very useful. I wish I had some mustard to dip it in, but I know. Mustard takes away the flavor. Oh, you have no condiments? No, but we have to like grade it just on the ingredients of the dough. Like when they do the brisket challenge, they don't. No sauce. Okay, no sauces. Yeah, no sauces. Right. Yeah, so if warmer, you're just tuning you. in to the Rule and Ryan show, we're doing Try it Tuesday. This one's a little bit squishier. Okay, like squishier. Mm-hmm. Like it's like a plumper. Mm-hmm. A little squishier. I'll go there. Right. I'll go here. It's warmer, yeah. Still could use it warmer, though, but that's good. Okay. Trying this? Mmm. Hot dog B. That one's way better than A. Mmm. Oh, okay. Oh, I also believe that. Mm-hmm. I like the aftertaste better. And this one? Yeah. So far, B's in the Is lead. it? But are we screwed because of the heat of it? No, like, I think it's a taste of flavor. makes it so much better. No, I think it's... No, uh, I, think no? It's, okay. I think it's a taste. Oh, okay. here we go. God, I can taste it. I'm going to take the last one. one. Here we go. Okay, so so far, I think all three of us agree number two is better than number yeah. one. Okay. All right, now we're going dog with... Dog number three. Dog number three. Oh, this yeah. One's, this one's definitely plumper. Uh-huh. And it's got those lines. Uh, that must be the Costco dog, because Eric just, like, went nuts. Mm. Oh, okay. oh, wow. As mm. soon as I taste it, I'm like, oh, I know that's Costco. <laughs> welcome, Mod, welcome is, my friend. Is C, Costco? You know your stuff. Yeah. I know my wieners. And I yeah. will say, like, in terms mm. of heating them all up, Rula, yeah. the first one was uh, Nathan's. Okay. And I will say, when I was grilling it, like, it took longer to get the grill marks. Interesting. So Nathan's it was has the thicker... palest one. Oh, no. Did it have no. So Nathan's, no. like, no. in terms of cooking, it didn't look the best. The second was Hebrew. Yeah, oh, my mm. gosh. So um, I didn't taste it, but that one got the nice grill mark. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, it was yeah. a little bit it was warmer. Pretty. Yeah, yeah. And then, of course, the best of them all, I had to taste it the Costco dog. I love Costco hot dogs. Yeah, see? I, I love I almost want to do a Hebrew piece and a Costco piece back to back again so I can really know because I really love Hebrew National so much. Do you Number really? two was so good. Mm-hmm. That's the first one I've ever had. Is this the Costco? No. Where's Hebrew? So, taking your was, votes, tallying no Sam, Eric, and Rula, one, two, and three. What Third is place your favorite? for sure, Nathan's for me. Third yeah. place for sure, Nathan's. Okay. The first one, okay. Nathan's. Yeah. I give it. Yeah. I give it two. Okay. Oh, oh we're going to do a point system? I, I, did, I just five. did stars. Yeah, go one to five. That yeah. way we can add All up right. this. Dog number two. What I, does that get? I'm right. tying. I'm gonna I give it a three, which is really good. On a scale of one to five, you yeah. get a three. That's a really solid okay. wiener. Yeah. I'm giving it five stars. Whoa. I love Hebrew National please, Hot Dogs. Please, please, please keep that audio that he just said. <laughs> what? I will. I don't <laughs> know what he just said. That's a really solid wiener. I need to go buy the Hot Dog. We don't have any more. All right. We got tons of hot. We can. Yeah, we can make some more. Make her another one. Sam, what, now what people are like, dang, I want a hot dog What do you give guy? the B? What do you give the The B, Hebrew? I guess a three. I thought that right. was fine. I give it a three as well. Yeah, Rilla? it's good. I gave it a five. I love Hebrew National. Oh, I think wow. it's my favorite hot dog. Okay. Um, but I, I need like a second bite of a Costco one to know if it also ties it. Because I feel That's like it you, tied what, it. Did you just eat it? I did. But like now That's that I know and, and the, which ones I like. All right, so it Eric, is bigger. The Costco hot dog was definitely bigger. Like yeah. volume wise, it was yeah. a bigger hot dog. Eric, are you giving Costco a five? Uh, I'd give it a 10 if I could, but All right, we'll give five. it a 5. Sam, what are you giving it? I feel like I'm getting peer pressure to like the Costco one <laughs> better. <laughs> just because of Eric liking cult. that one so much. But Because yeah. um, honestly, I think if I would eat them blindfolded, I wouldn't know the difference. All right, we're going to try it again. During I the break, swear. We're gonna, I swear. I'm going to cook it. No, cook I'm going to eat okay. more hot dogs. you got to give it a Costco. score. I one don't one feel like I would honestly know the difference between Eddie. Yes, you would. Yes, you would. I could tell a difference, but I can't tell you if it's a better Difference. You guys are crazy. Costco wins every yeah, time. Close. Yeah. I'm getting peer pressure. What, to I say think Costco. it's time to five. I'll give them both five. Um, Hebrew National and Costco will get a five. Uh, during the me. break, we'll record. During the break, <laughs> we we'll see what they think. Bun. Now we just want lunch. We want all. <laughs> all of now it. we just want lunch. All, of it. all right, coming up next, date or ditch? This is a question that we uh, throw out to you because somebody comes to us with a quandary about somebody new they're dating, and you know, it all started with a kiss. It all started with a kiss. 
The guy wasn't a good kisser. She didn't yeah, know whether she should date him or ditch him. We well, said this, ditch him. This is not involving this, actually. This will be a parental advisory for this date or ditch. Uh, it has to oh, do with a little more romantic adult. Things. Yes, Uh-oh. adult okay. themes. Okay, what's the theme next? Find out on the Rule and Ryan Show. Baby. All right, before we get to date or ditch, which, by the way, you can chime in for date or ditch at 713-390-KRBE. That's 713-390-5723. Before we get to that call. The final tally is in for the Try It Tuesday Hot Dog Challenge between the Nathan's Hot Beef Hot Dog, a Hebrew National Beef Hot Dog, and the Costco brand Beef Hot Dogs. And ladies and gentlemen, we have had a turnaround in the commercial break. Yes. It is Costco all the way. They're yeah. beef hot dogs, too. You win that, Eric. Congratulations, Eric. But now, hey. Irvin, that does our digital, he goes to Sam's. He says the Sam's hot dog is better than Costco. What? And somebody texted about Ikea hot dogs. I didn't know Ikea had hot dogs. Does, yeah, the Ikea one is kind of bomb. But y'all. they have sauerkraut. Really? Yeah, they so have is that a, next? We go Ikea, Sam's, and Costco? Mm, Costco is to be defending champs? Sauerkraut I, on it. I, I, yeah, oh, they have two ver- well, My most hated food of all time, sauerkraut. They have two Ugh. versions of the hot dog. They have an all-beef hot dog, like a regular mustard and ketchup mm-hmm. one. I like that. They also have a veggie dog. Well, no, that does not count. Ooh. If oh, you I'll gotta, try that. If you got to go up against dog. a beef Costco yeah, no, dog, it has to be a fellow dog. beef dog. You're not going to put up a, a, a veggie dog, like a tofu dog, up against a beef dog. That's don't like not too much. I, I think it. it compares. It's nah. pretty really? good. Nah. It's really right, bring good. Bring them in. I've had some I good will, veggie will, dogs, veggie hamburgers. Yes. But what I'm saying, right, is if I can compare like a different beef. brands like Morningstar versus Boca versus whatever, I'll do that. Mm-hmm. But I won't put a Costco beef dog up against fair, a, but that's a veggie like dog. Saying, the veggie like dog saying, will, ha- will not, not win. That's like saying you can't compare a chicken nugget with a veggie nugget. You can't. I've tried it's those ones that look like Chick fil A, the veggie ones you can buy. Based on they that don't taste like chicken. <laughs> they do not. You, dip it in the, you dip it in like the Raisin Cane sauce or you dip it in the mm-hmm. Chick fil A sauce. That's the only chance you have of it. And of it, right. it still doesn't yeah, taste like chicken. No, like I'm going to convince you all. The Boca chicken <laughs> patty is a C-H-I-K apostrophe N because it's not real chicken, right? And that is always good clutch if you don't feel like eating meat and you want to have the taste of fried. And you could, like I will you said, say, cane sauce on it or Chick-fil-A sauce. Well, Eric, to your you point. get these for your kids, and I actually tried them. The Morningstar corn dogs, yeah. veggie corn dogs, yeah, yeah, they taste good. like real corn dogs. Those are very good. But if I put it up against a regular corn dog, then, then I'll see know. how it's not the same. So you got to go look in the same like veggie categories. But okay, so now we'll do Ikea beef dog. Okay. And the veggie Sam's dog. Sam's beef dog. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Costco beef dog. Can Costco hold on to his title? I think so. We'll do that another time. Maybe All that's right. for the, the Shall we get to yeah. summertime? Okay, or date ditch. or ditch. Here we go. Y'all go to the listener line, 713-278-VENT. That's 8368. You leave us a message about something's going on with you, and we will decide. Well, you have to be date? dating right now, though. Should you ditch? If you already dumped him in. You already ditched them. Yeah, yeah we don't. Right. The point is moot. Yeah. Uh-huh. Let's hear so the call. this is parental advisor on this call. Hey guys, I have been dating this guy now for about a month. He is amazing. He's good looking. He's successful. Everything has just been so right. We've just been clicking really well, and we recently crossed that line. It was wonderful, and the second night we spent together, he had some really strange requests in bed. Like, he had a bunch of props and things, and I saw, like, a ball gag, and I was honestly so uncomfortable. I just couldn't do it. He was super respectful of that, but I don't know, guys. Is this how it's going to be the whole time? Is he always going to expect me to do this kind of stuff forever? So I don't know if I should just get out now. Okay, so, so because he had some requests, some requests. as Jordan Peele on. would say, get out. <laughs> no, I mean, I get think as out. long as you communicate, she she likes no. him a lot. If get you out. communicate, she say, said she hey, likes this him is a lot, what my Eric. comfort zone is. That's and his kink, and if you're not into the kink, yeah, you can't change his mind, and then he's going to be doing that with well, someone if he, else. If he loves her, he's not going to worry about that. But kink. it's his kink; he can't stop. Right, that's the way that he is most excited. Uh-huh. So. Yeah. Um, that's a really tricky one because she does like him a lot. Now, she hasn't had any kind of communication with him about it. So right, I call think the us topic if you have an to opinion. Up, um, the topic needs to come up. And then if he's like, no, no, it's this way always or no way, then no, I would say ditch. But then I, the whole, my whole time I'm thinking, yeah, that was good. But I know deep down he wants me to have that ball gag in his mouth. <laughs> maybe, no, maybe he was said just. That. Maybe well, he was making just, that up. No, he was testing his prop. boundaries. She didn't say what the props second, were. Second time, and all of a sudden, second time you're going date. that. That is a big ass. That means you're already bored. Date. You're already bored with it. Yeah, yeah. That, oh, that's, that's oh, a little yeah, weird. She's vanilla. Yeah. Seven trying one three add. three nine zero KRBE. I think in the room we all say ditch. Then if that's I the don't case. say ditch, I say communicate and say you know what. That's really then ditch. Yeah. No, I would say like hey, pervert. No. That is like a no. weird request for a second time. Well, at I, I feel like it's look. It's weird. 
to a lot of people, but for him, obviously, he thinks it's totally norm. Right. And he's probably been with people that thought it was norm, and maybe that's why he introduced it to her the second time around. Yeah. But to Eric's point, I never thought of it that way, but you're right, Eric. That means the first time they were together, he just did like the play it safe, whatever is the quote, umbrella of norm. Mm -hmm. And then the second time, he's like, all right, let's do this now. Okay, she's like, let uh, me throw this out then. Let me throw this out then. Maybe he was in a long-term relationship in his former relationship. (laughs) That's what they were into. So that's even worse. Now he's like... I'm not that other person you're with. I know, but maybe he's just been conditioned to think that that is the norm. And she's got to say, hey, no, I don't like doing that stuff. Can you live with the fact that, hey, it's just going to be this way you know, know people on text or before we get to the phones people on talk text to each other say she will never truly satisfy exactly. him exactly so there's no winning here yep if she's not game for any of that maybe she doesn't know she's game is it like 50 shades of gray was not the premise she didn't know she was into it until she right. was into it right so we've got three so, ditches and uh hey Let's have the talk. No, I think, they, I, said, I think everybody should have a conversation yeah, about yeah. it. I think they should communicate, oh. but what ultimately the ditch will happen. Say, I don't say ditch. I say have a talk. What the hell does that mean? No, it's date I, or it's ditch. It's date or ditch. So like I said, Ryan, we're giving <laughs> we're giving a thing that they are going to have the conversation, and he's like, this is my hard line right here. It's ditch then. It's going to have to be ditch, don't you think? Yeah. What do you say? Date or ditch? I say date until you've... Oh, we know it rhymes. Had that talk. Right. No, I don't want that stuff. I don't want a ball it's gag. It's fine. There's plenty of people that can't want shut me whatever. up. <laughs> what <laughs> have we learned over this show? I Especially now. Especially now in the last seven years, ten years. What have we learned? Like, don't shame people for what they like. No, right? gotta no play you neutral. can do it. What I'm saying for us as we talk about it, right? But it's clearly so, something that made her uncomfortable. Yeah. Yes, it makes her uncomfortable. So he likes this. It makes her uncomfortable. If she's uncomfortable, she'll never win. If he pulls back because she's uncomfortable, he'll never win. Yep. This is not a g- going to be a successful situation. Nope. Um, let's go to Mindy. Hi, welcome to the Rule and Ryan Show. Date or ditch, Mindy? Oh, I don't know what's happening here. What's going on with the line four again? Try it again. Hi, Mindy. Can you hear me? It's Rula. Hello. Hi. Do you have a ball gag in her mouth? What? Hello. None. You okay? <laughs> Are you right there? I'm <laughs> I say you date. Okay, you, you date. date. Okay. Now, do you, do you tell us what her strategy should be then? Because she's uncomfortable with she what that is. She liked everything else about him. But he's successful he needs, and all that. And likes him a lot. I think, she needs to, I think she needs to at least communicate. And, I mean, it's just dating. I mean, so how does she know? She, she may she may learn to like it. She may she doesn't know yet. It's like Christian Grey stuff. But, but so don't you saying, think she knows if she called us to take the time to ask us if she should date or ditch? She's she uncomfortable. She's uncomfortable right now, but I mean, you change. I mean, everyone changes. He may change and learn. There's a there may be a happy medium. Yeah. Second date though is that kind of a little. Mindy, let me tell you what the, some of the texters are saying about that. They say gutsy. the amount of no amount of communication will matter if she does not feel comfortable. She does not feel comfortable, and he will eventually look out somewhere else for it. Let's mm-hmm. say they get committed. And he's like, well, everything is wonderful except for this one part of me. And that's why spas exist. Well, she's saying, go ahead, give it a chance. That's one date. Okay, so you got a date there. Um, let's go to Renee on the line at 713-390-KRB. Like Hi, Renee. Good morning. What are you saying? Don't knock until you try. <laughs> yes, I don't know. Hi, Renee. Good morning. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. So, date or ditch on this situation? Uh, I say ditch. 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 Now, tell us why. Same reason we've been saying? Uh, I, I'm I'm agreeing with the with the people that are texting in. Uh, it's just, you know, if she's not comfortable with that, uh, he's going to end up looking somewhere else for that. It's it's uh, I'm kind of older, so I well, you could say a zebra doesn't change its stripes. So if that's what he's into, it's, he's never going to be happy with you know True. something less. <laughs> and Renee, don't we always? And what we've all learned, like you should never be uncomfortable in that intimate moment. Like if you're uncomfortable, that's not. Nobody wants their partner to be uncomfortable. Right. Because that's like, just bad think, He just. I don't know why he brought that out so early. No, that's a, that's a mistake. At least right wait there. like but two maybe, months. Maybe three he's months. the kind of guy that's like, listen, I just need to know what I'm working with here. Which makes and me if realize she's not into that it, I'm moving on to the next. Yeah. But I also I don't think. That. I wonder if I she was like think. all talk. Like, she's like, oh, yeah, I'm really into that. And he's like, all right, oh, prove yeah. it. Let's go. Oh. And then she's like, oh, no, I'm not. But I also don't I think that just because, I can't walk that walk. just because <laughs> he liked that, that that's all he likes. I mean, if he loves her, you make concessions. Yeah, so don't sides. you think, Ryan, he would have told her that and she would not have come to our listener line? Because I feel like by the time mm. you get to the Rule and Ryan show, you've exhausted some possibilities yeah. in your head. I feel you're like thinking, when you call, you're on the call ditch. my friends. You're, if you're on that teeter-totter of Data Data ditch. ditch, I feel like the... Leaning towards ditch. Yes, because Eric, you know what I say a lot of times? When you say, I don't Mm. know, 
What's the answer in that phrase? No. Oh, I don't yeah. know. No. When you're like, I don't know. You want Dr. Do Phil? Do I really yeah. want that? Mm, mm, probably not. Dr. You Phil. probably don't want that. Spelled differently, but Dr. Rula. When in doubt, leave it out, baby. Um, so well, that's I what think he's trying that- to do. Let's get a Lisa. When are you coming over so I can f you? Oh, Doctor <laughs> Phil, why'd you leave wow. on Ryan's machine? Jeez, Phil. Okay, Lisa is up next. Date or ditch? Hello, Lisa. For those just tuning in, let me reset. There is a girl who called our listener line. She has been dating a guy that checks all the boxes. Pretty fantastic, fabulous. After the first intimate night together, it was awesome. The second intimate yeah, night, he wanted toys. to bring a bunch of props in that make her super uncomfortable, so she doesn't know if she should continue on. So it's date or ditch, there. Lisa? <laughs> yeah, you don't need a prop ditch. comedian in bed. Hi, what'd you say, Lisa? Ditch. Ditch. This doesn't change. I, have, I, have, I was in a long-term relationship, a marriage, mm-hmm. and my ex would... I would wake up in the middle of the night. First, I found out my, my toenails were painted, and I'd be like, what happened to my toenails? I didn't paint my toenails. And then it, it grew. He was going to give you a pedicure while you slept? He painted your toenails in your sleep? Is that kind of sleep? bonus, Sam? Like, how'd you not know? I was so, so excited. Yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah. so relaxed. So here you are snoring you know, when he's like, massage. oh, here's a little pretty pain. I didn't do it. Wow. Because, so. because he would do it. He would put shoes on me. He would... Oh, um, oh man, that's weird. Complete the whole sexual experience by himself with my feet while I was asleep. Oh, my <laughs> it God. Change. Wow, he was taking advantage and of your feet. it grew. It got worse. It so, got whoa. worse as things as we... And I didn't really find out until we were way into it. Until it was way... You Wait. know, I was... And then I would wake up and go like, Wait a minute. Hold on. Now you didn't I have remember. like a bed sheet full of wet nail polish? You know what I'm saying? Like you're sleeping. Yeah. And, my feet and come, he's uh, putting polish on your toes. You wake up, you got those little styrofoam things between your toes. <laughs> Did he just like leave you uncovered? Did he leave your feet uncovered? And you were like, why are you so cold when I'm sleeping? You're stuck on the on wrong him. thing. You are stuck on the wrong thing. The problem is, is that the, the sexual desires... Right, like it doesn't change. Yeah. He, that's yeah, going to okay, get gotcha. worse, and it's going to get stronger. But don't you think that, like a relationship? Look, sex is a very important p- component of any relationship, but it is such a small part when you're in a committed relationship. But, but it's extreme. a big I mean, part to you if you're a, not comfortable. I mean, you know, it is a huge you love part somebody. to you if you're not comfortable. So nobody uh, wants to be in a relationship where they're not wife, comfortable. If I wake up every day and my toes are painted. And you're not comfortable with that. It's not just, yeah, I'm okay. Like, that's the PG. Yes. I, I, that's yeah, what yeah, we're yeah, saying. You yeah, know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, I'm I, saying I feel like we, 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 have, we have enough ditches Eric, via what is text that shade you're wearing today? versus dates. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I think to that girl that just called us, I think this is your answer. If you are not ready or willing to have a, a real solid conversation with him to ask him how important is this part of, mm-hmm. of the bedroom life for him, if this is just the only way he can go all the time, every time, then you're going to know you're up for a major challenge of a lot of heartache or yep. you just ditch. I'm with Rula. And By the way, someone hey, tried Tuesday ball job. gags. I've tried that before. No. Years ago when Fifty Shades came, I bought one, remember? For the show? Our bosses wouldn't let us do it. I want to do a uh, gaggy yoki. We gaggy yoki? We are going to try and sing songs with a ball gag in our mouth. The things that Eric has ideas for. That cost me like 15 oh, bucks. darn. Our boss you can wouldn't do let yourself. us do darn. that. I still have so somewhere. I'm sure it's in our office. I think it's our boss's office now because he took it to the... Uh, the the, he doesn't know what's in there. Oh, no. <laughs> he doesn't know our box of props is in our former office, which is now our boss's office. We've been able to get in there that? for a year. Can you imagine his wife and kids come over one weekend when he has to work late? And they're like, what's over here in this closet? This oh it's God. the Rule and Ryan show prop closet, but they think it's just his That was one closet. filthy show. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Y'all go to the listener line, 713-278. Where's dumb. my gavel? I think everyone's ditch. spoken. It's ditch. Anchor. Okay. Uh, so coming up next in Celebrity Scoop, the, this uh, kerfluffle. It's a new word. Sounds like something delicious that McDonald's Ooh. might serve you a soft serve that when yeah. the machine doesn't work. A tender kerfluffle. The kerfluffle of the Taylor Swift paparazzi dad situation with protection. Let's uh, give you more of the details on that next on The Rule and Ryan Show. Rule and Ryan Celebrity Scoop. On KRB. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, just want to remind you guys that today between 9 a.m. and 7 p.m. is your chance to win free Rodeo Houston tickets because we revealed our rodeo sounder of the date, 8 a.m., 
Sorry, I can't play it for you again, but mm-hmm. it's just something really that's, random. That's You're why you got to listen at 8 every morning. Through the day, and when you hear it, you got to be You'll uh, know calling it. our studio and you win the tickets. So that's that. Uh, it's also Women's uh, National Women's History Month in the month of March, so we're trying to get you ready to spotlight the woman in your life by calling our listener line now at 713-278-VENT. We would like to spotlight the fabulous women in our listening area, and it's courtesy of you. Calling in about Make them. sure that Tell you us your name. <laughs> put yeah. the name in there, please. Yeah. And it doesn't always have to be like your mom. It could be no. maybe it's a coworker. Yeah, somebody you work with. Somebody you like, admire. I'd, be like, I'd like to call and talk about Rula and Sam. Oh, thank That's you. Two so people that much. get up at four in the morning every day, have kids. Four in the morning. Four in the morning. Oh, earlier Who are than those that. Women? Yeah, you're you're gone. <laughs> she yeah. she's Sam up what? way oh. earlier. She's driving her kid yeah. to daycare. Poor baby's getting up at four. How many? Like and three. Speaking yeah. of that, Eric, how many pictures over the years That's of okay. our working relationship did I send you with a child gripping my neck before oh my gosh, I left the house? I am not ready for that, Sam. It is breaking, but you have to just put it behind you. My child, oh. they would wake up and they would hear me Don't and they leave. would run to the door and they would start screaming, crying. And then a lot of times if my husband was traveling, my mom would be there. Ready for that, so really? I'd be hugging on them, hugging on them, hugging on them. I had to send Eric a, a selfie as to why I'm late because I just can't leave this right now. Or like I told you all that one time, my daughter hit the garage door and I didn't see her hit the garage door. And so I was coming out the driveway onto my street and I just saw this little bobbing like figure and yeah. I go, what? in my rear view. I go, what is that? And my child had hit the garage door. I always park my car backwards, not nose in. I park backwards. You back out. So the red lights of me hitting the brakes, trying to ease off my driveway, that's where I saw her bobbing head. And it was like a 40-degree morning. And I had hit the remote to close the garage door, but she had opened it again. And if I had not seen her, I would have said, oh, I guess it didn't work. I will close the garage door. I would have locked her out of the house. She just wanted to wave to you? No, she wanted me to not leave. She was oh. coming after yeah. me to chase me down so that I wouldn't leave. Oh. And I just was like, you know, this is just a life. mother's mm-hmm. life, right? Yep. Usually the other way with the dad, the kid's like, oh, you're still here? <laughs> Oh, you're really? leaving. No. Well, sometimes it gets really happy when Mark gets home from yeah. work. Like, I can already tell yeah, that he's that's excited. when they go play, and that's when the Yeah, and in wanna... the morning, he, like, stands up on his crib. Like, he's able to stand up now. So yeah. it's just crazy to see, like, the little you have to lower that crib, the, the bed? Oh, yeah, it's down as low as it can mm-hmm. possibly go. They always go. jump, and they do that Yes, bounce. and he's just, like, all bedhead sleepies. It's, like, the oh. cutest thing. You're like, do I need to work? Mm-hmm. I know. Yeah, I Why do we have money? Four so stay with this baby. Waps. All right, so, um, yes, please nominate the woman in your life yeah. actually not even nominate you just tell us about her yes, 713-278-VENT and we are going to start putting spotlights on all the beautiful calls that we get so all we day long. really thank you for that now taylor swift i mentioned this last hour she now has a record that has surpassed the beatles on the billboard charts for the most weeks spent in the top 10 on the billboard 200 albums chart in the last 60 years across all of her top 10 charting albums combined she has spent 200, I'm sorry, 384 weeks in the top 10. The Beatles spent 382 weeks. So it was a 60 year old record that she beat. That's crazy. That's impressive. Unbelievable. Now, and, I always wondered though, and this is no dig on Taylor. This is an is this honest, the one about 60 years from now. I'm just, uh, yeah, think about it. <laughs> yeah. 20, in, in 2084, will there be Swifties? In 2084. Why not? Probably, yeah. I'm sure there will be. She's a business class. Mm-hmm. She's a. Business you think machine. about if you're a fan, like a serious fan, no, you're going to be a fan no, no matter what. The she'd be 94. The Beatles were first. Like people yeah, talk but about still. them. Yeah. Say it again, Eric? The Beatles were first, like when it came right, to right. rock yeah. and roll. I mean, right. yeah. I know they weren't first, first, but in mm-hmm. people's minds. But they created mm-hmm. a whole genre. Yeah. They're like a boy band, basically. Well, her dad is in the news for this kerfluffle in Australia. What is a kerfluffle? I'm just like some kind of like, it's not really an assault. It's not an aggression. It's just something like a kerfluffle. An incident. (laughs) Yeah, we people just kind of... It is scattered together. Uh, Apparently, uh, New South Wales police unit told TMZ that they're investigating an alleged assault that was reported to them on Sydney's North Shore very early Tuesday morning. Remember, they're 15 hours ahead of us. Uh, after a photographer named Ben McDonald filed a complaint claiming that Scott Swift assaulted him. Well, what happened? Well, they say that um, he kind of like manhandled him in a way to get him away from the security that was guarding Taylor to the point where on the other side, they're saying this guy, McDonald, tried to, like, push one of the security guys off the wharf. So this guy doesn't have a lot of good behind his name because Nicole Kidman had to sue him and get a restraining order against him because oh. he's one of those really aggressive paparazzos. That was a, 
if I was living in Sydney, I'd be so mad at this guy because now I'd be like, great, now Taylor's Taylor going to hate Sydney. Bad yeah. representation of our country. Yeah, because the one yeah. idiot. And think about it, though. I mean, happens. can you fault the guy? I mean, the dad? No. I mean, it's like if somebody is like... In you your know, way. In your way, yeah. and, and you're thinking like, oh, this idiot could get and to my to daughter. Get, and trying to get through very, four of her security guards. You're very protective get of your children. There. Right. Uh, last thing I want to tell you all, Alec Baldwin's Rust trial has been scheduled to kick off July the 9th. Remember that story came out that he is going to face a trial for the unfortunate death. The manslaughter. I think they're going for manslaughter. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Uh, I'm not the big Alec Baldwin not fan. But I'm not I either. I don't get but he, he didn't just he held the prop yeah they have a prop master he was given the prop to shoot He's just an actor. So from now on you're supposed away. to hold it and then shoot it once or twice and then use it i mean i don't know what you're supposed to do i mean it's, to me, it's, it's, it's insane that they use real weapons on movie sets i mean they can cgi anything why would you need a real gun or just to have a like i said toy gun painted black exactly well, we'll see that what part that's that. orange on the tip yeah yeah because they always put like the toy guns have like an orange tip as a kid, I was I didn't have those orange tips. It wasn't a thing in the eighties. Well, like uh, pop like, guns with orange tips. So I like, like toy pistols and my toy mm-hmm. rifles. Before that, school shootings, like yeah. the big you know, column now lines. everything has the orange thing on it. Mm-hmm. Well, we'll see what happens there. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Rula and Ryan show on KRBE with what's going down, 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 down in H Town. Speaking of shootings, police have released nearly a half hour surveillance video and body camera footage from Lakewood Church from the shooting showing an armed woman entering the building with her son, leading to the shootout that left her dead and the child critically wounded. Uh, Before the shooting, security cameras show uh, this woman parking her vehicle outside the church, putting the hazards on, scooping her child out of the backseat, walking towards the entrance in a tan trench coat. She had one long gun underneath the jacket and another one in her bag. But uh, the video is very, it's on all the different news networks. It's very disturbing. Mm. It really is. And, And just... If anything, those officers that took glad. her down are heroes. Oh, hell yeah. They are heroes. They saved a lot of I mean, they saved a lot well, of lives. And if anything, it just shows you what the everyday life of a law enforcement person's day is like. You don't know what to expect, but you have to be ready for anything and to just jump towards it. The, we run from the noise, they run to it. Yep. That's a special kind of person. Officials at the Astros Golf Foundation are excited for next month's Houston Open. They're partnering with Texas Children's Hospital for the first time since the Astros took over the PGA Tour back in 2020. The Houston Open is actually going to be played in the spring, and that's when, you know, the historic Memorial Park golf course is going to look its finest. The Texas Children's Houston Open will pay its winner $1.638 million of the $9.1 million purse. What what date is it? Is it the spring? It used to be the week before... uh... The big one in uh, in uh, Georgia, the Masters, the Masters. Masters. Remember they used to do it the week before. That's why like Tiger oh, would never, yeah, yeah, Tiger yeah, yeah, would never yeah. come here because he was yeah, going there it to, up for the Masters to practice. But a lot of guys like to get come here, so they, that's why they changed it to like the fall. So mm-hmm. now they're back to the spring. Back to the spring. I like yeah, that. that's cool. It says that the, the Open will be played March 25th through the 31st at Memorial Park Golf Course. Right now, March 25th. Oh no, I mean this year. Yes, 2024. No, 2024. 2024. Yeah, Sweet. it's coming up in just a couple of weeks. Because secondly, spring, didn't y'all see that little dusting of yellow pollen on your car? No, oh, yeah. Happened oh, already. My, um, my eyeballs it's already are, happened. Are that's what you have, Sam. All right. That's why you're blowing your nose. Yeah, because that the yellow pollen. dusted pollen is out. out. All right, coming up next, I'm going to have to give y'all a clue by humming something to you guys. If you, can you identify this song? Oh, gosh. Mm. Oh. Because it's, it's one of the minor but frustrating everyday struggles we all go through, and it has to do with a song. I will explain next on the Rule and Ryan Show.